Hey there, if you are watching this video it's because most probably you have in shoes with your dimensions in your drawing. Uh, same as me now. So basically I got the dimension uh, this, uh, added to my model space. But when I come to my the paper space and the viewport is not showing the dimensions. So it's something happening. So that happens because uh, if you if you select the your viewport, you see that this viewport is set to one by thirty three uh, scale. So if you go back to your model and you select your dimension in the properties palette, if you don't have the properties palette opened, so you can just type mo. If you select the properties tab, you see that there is a property called annotative, and this is set to yes. Uh, and the scale, the annotative scale is one by fifth at the moment. So that's the problem because in our, our viewport is set to one by 33, right? So basically you need to match the scales from the viewport and the dimension we add to the model space. So to do that, we have two options. We can either change this the viewport scale to match uh, the dimension scale so if you select one by one one by fifth uh, we can send out the dimension but uh, the most of times that's not an option because we we want to keep uh, our viewport scale so in that case we can go back to the model space select the dimension and we can change the the annotative scale here to the one that we have in the paper space. Okay. So if you go back to your paper space, yeah, now you'll be able to see your di your dimension. That might solve your problem right now. If you don't have the, your problem solved, you can comment below. And also another another way uh, you can solve that is instead of uh, rather than uh, setting the dimension to a notative uh, so you can put uh, set as no for a notative so you note that we don't have the notative scale anymore that means uh, when you go to your viewport you, you can change to any scale you want and you can still see the um, the dimension right so I hope this helped you. So if uh, if you have any doubts, any questions, just put in the comments below and give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more AutoCAD contents. Thank you.